As the much anticipated 2019 general elections in Nigeria draws near, the Nigerian Television Authority Benin, in a bid to keep her viewers abreast with happenings associated with the forthcoming elections and to enrich her broadcast content in a digital era, again deemed it right that a special youth enlightenment program titled Youth Hub be created as a platform for youths in Edo State to air their concerns as pertains to the general elections and in turn be adequately informed on voter education. Youth Hub was an instance of some young persons who walked into my office a few weeks ago and they said they wanted their voices heard during this uh, 2019 election. I was indeed impressed because uh, I thought that that was indeed very positive that young people want their voice heard in a, a traditional medium. What we have been seeing so far is the social media. Participants were drawn from organizations across Edo State, some of which include Edo State Chapter of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, Student Union Governments of Tertiary Institutions, National Council for Persons with Disabilities, Youth Wings of the Christian Association of Nigeria and the Benin Muslim Congress. We should go back to the drawing board. We should not look at it from the media situation today. Election is coming. Let's please sort this one and go. Let's go back to the source of the problem. And the parents, our parents, they should please help us by training our children, bring, bring up better leader. The media should be objective and they should be fair. They should not be biased when they are making their own reportage. What do you believe that the youth should put themselves into that would actually discourage us from doing all these things? Because basically we're doing it because we need the funding to do whatever we are trying to do ourselves. Considering the process we mentioned, it's about seven step process okay. during the voting. And um, accreditation is supposed to begin by eight. And at some point in time, Voting begins and ends by two. How sure is I that the accreditation can be done within that time and voting ends by two? Director General of the National Orientation Agency, Dr. Garba Abari, in his remarks, iterated the ascertainable role of Nigerian youths for the emergence of credible leadership for all positions contested for. There is a very close nexus that exists between the role of the youth in contributing towards the emergence of a leadership that is credible, honest, and they can be held accountable, and therefore the kind of national development contribution that we see from the day to from the pathway to our leaders. And therefore, because we have already abrogated to our right to hold him to account, he cannot be held to account. You cannot hold to account a leader that you have brought through a transactional means. Representative of Edo State INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner, Mr. Wilfred Ifoga, enlightened the youth on voter education. In our voting cubicle, it has two points where you can actually cast or rather do your thumb printing. If you are inside properly, no one will ever see what you're doing, except you did not use that point. It has been designed, and every unit we have that. And you can take two persons at a time, one this way and one the other way. And once you're inside, you cannot see whatever that person is doing. Okay? And the thing is, the, the, the policy of INX still remains. It is open secret ballot system. In the sense that it is secret because whatever you're doing inside the cubicle, nobody will know. It is open because you come out of that cubicle to drop your ballot paper inside the ballot box. As we speak, we have 91 registered political parties. And of these 91 registered political parties, 73 of them have presidential candidates. So you can as well imagine the kind of ballot paper we are going to use, the design. And of course, it should be designed in such a way that when you do your term printing, it should be large enough for the area of your term not to spread into another column for another party. Other participants present during the program share their concerns. What would be the use if you sell your car? Because it takes two to tango. You might be ready to sell, and the willing buyer must be there. If we avoid this process, therefore, we can ease out this danger of making every successive government not responsible for their duties. Or when we query their responsibilities, they come back to tell 
because yes, of course, you are part of it. To lose your public conscience. If you are there working as an adult, adult that please don't do anything that you will really regret. And for every one of us last week, don't send your vote. Because if prudent are sold, not bought, it's only when there is a seller that a buyer will come. Don't sell your vote for anything. Let me send a very strong warning to the politicians that our youths are no longer available for election talking. We have said that over and over again, and we are repeating that they should know and know now that our youths are no longer ready for election talking. The essence of this special youth enlightenment program, Youths Hub, is seemingly for every Nigerian youth watching the transmission of this feature now. As again, it is a clarion call to deviate from selling their votes in violence for free and fair elections.